We're here at Sweet Thing, Sweet Shop, and Nicole is going to tell us about some new items in the store. Okay, so these are our new Beanie Boos that we have for Halloween. We've got two spiders. They're both named Crawly, even though they're different colors. They're both named Crawly. Their birthday is September 21st. There's the black and orange one, and then the purple and green one. And we also have Jinxie, the Halloween cat, birthday of October 13th. It's got a cute little mask on it there, fun little cat. And then we also have over here some other basket beanies. There's a little pumpkin guy and a little ghost and another little bat that's sitting on a pumpkin. So those are real fun for kids. They all come with a little hang tag on there so they could Hook them on just about anything, great for backpacks and all kinds of stuff. Do you have any bags for the kids to collect their candy? We do! We have these fancy little pumpkin trick-or-treat bags. You just undo that and then out comes the bag. Stays attached to the little pumpkin that it folds up in. Tell us about your candy, Nicole, for Halloween. Okay, so you actually came on the best day ever because I just finished our case, and it's full of candy for Halloween and fall, so moving across here, we've got our deluxe Halloween mix. It's got the mellow creams and the giant candy corn and little foil wrap chocolates and some jelly beans in there. And then as we keep going along, we've got pumpkin pie jelly beans. Pumpkin pie jelly beans? Pumpkin pie jelly beans. It tastes like a really good spiced pumpkin pie. And then in the back there's a Jewel Wild Blackberry jelly bean. There's grape soda jelly beans. There's an autumn mix that's got top banana, toasted marshmallow, pomegranate. There's an orange. There's red apple, chocolate pudding. Just all kinds of good flavors mixed in there. And then here in the front, something new. We've got sunny seeds and those are actually little sunflower seeds that have been dipped in chocolate and then they have a little candy coating shell on there. So those are fun for kids if you don't want to load them up on too much candy. And then next to that in the back there's the giant corn and then there's the fall festival mix which is just all different mellow cream candies. There's the giant pieces of corn, there's little um, pumpkins and then there's more giant corn in there. And then in the back, there's a container of milk chocolate crisp pumpkins. Those are from the Madeline Chocolate Company. And then next to that is just regular good old-fashioned candy corn. And then the last thing there are caramel-filled ghouls. So those are milk chocolate with uh, caramel filling. And then if you go up to the top shelf, there's the milk chocolate crisp pumpkins again. And then the caramels. And then we've got little milk chocolate shaped leaves and milk chocolate pops, little pumpkins, and then little mini chocolate ghosts. So we've got all kinds of things for Halloween and fall, and we've also got our candy bouquets. We do those all year round, so you can special order one, or you can just come in and pick one up that's already been made. Is that a Jelly Belly Spider there? This? Yeah. It's actually a cockroach. Oh, that's a cockroach. It's a gummy cockroach. <laughs> Yes.
put them to go left one on on the one on And go over really and then we're going to go really and bring it out all the way.
a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to school I'm Brian Gray. We're down here at Rust at 122 North Main and I do some photography stuff and uh, I just wanted to come by and put some stuff out. Sam does all our artwork here and she allows me to put our photos out for display. A lot of these photos are local, however some of them are from Savannah, Georgia, some of them are from New Orleans. It's kind of a big mix of everything. You can visit me online at facebook.com slash photos by Brian Gray. And uh, come out and see us. We're going to have live music uh, every fourth Friday. So starting next month, actually, we'll have a magician in October. Hopefully, we'll have the Thin Dimes from St. Louis. So come out and it's a good time. Want to show some of your photos? Yeah. Um, these actually, some of these are local shots. This is, uh, we have some gas pumps right up here on the street, at, on Main Street. And uh, this is actually a, a local shot. We have a, a model here, Tosca. She's actually right here. And she did this shot here, our local cemetery. So we have a couple different poses of her. And then, of course, our ferry. And we have sunset at Tybee Island, Georgia. And some of these shots, like this one, for instance, is from the famous Bonaventure Cemetery in Savannah, Georgia. And then there's just a nice mix of local shots as well as travel shots. You can also go online to notquiteindiana.com and follow me. And you can come along with me as I travel. And I'll always make sure to update my photos and put a travel vlog on there as well if anybody's interested in checking that out.
piece is a collaboration between myself, Michelle Thompson, and James Woolridge. Um, we kind of started out with using the theme ecology. And so I was looking at how, when I go to apply two objects to the surface, how those two relate to each other. So that's how I focused on ecology. James took it one step farther and looked more into how to cultivate. So he used more of a word of cultivation when he worked with his process. So the piece that you're looking at now is Michelle Johnson's piece, this is my piece. It's working more with ecology and how the different projects interact with each other. It's, the piece is not finished, it's still going to be popped with some color. So we're kind of seeing both these pieces as a form of a sketch because we're still in the middle of producing them. The piece on your right is James piece. James, would you like to say something about the piece? Okay, most of her work seems to allude to wild nature, so I went to cultivation, so that's why I put the human figure, and it's the woman whose body is, is based on the Venus of Dillendorf, so uh, it's fertility. Um, I've used tools of the trade here, so I have paint brushes all over the place that I use for rays of light that come from the sun, and also from vegetation from up on the ground. I line them up like that so that it look like it's cultivation. So it's an orchard or maybe it's a garden. But see the the vegetables or the vegetable growth is lined up. There were a few wild pieces that were growing in there. Now I also wanted to show time because ecology was where we began talking to build this piece. So I grabbed some pieces that go back about at least 400 million years, those rocks over there have fossils in them, and there's also a um, quartz crystal down there in the corner, which takes a long time to fill. So I've got prehistory on there as well as cultivation. And we have one more panel that will be in the middle that we're going to work together on. So we'll be passing it back and It's a larger panel. It's, a, it's bigger than these two combined. A large one. These sorts of trips. Channel 7 and 98 TV and web broadcasting are made possible through contributions and donations from viewers like you. Thank you for your support.